Pictures of coral reefs and tide pools show us the flashy colors of marine animals, but take a look at how they appear under blue light illumination. These bright colors are produced by fluorescent molecules found in many marine animals. Animals that look drab in white light may reveal a technicolor palette under the right illumination. So why be so ornately dressed? We think that for some animals, attracting attention is the whole point. Fluorescence is a process where light of high energy photons temporarily excites electrons of a molecule. When the molecule relaxes, the energy is re-emitted as a lower energy photon with a longer wavelength. Typically, blue or violet light is used to excite green, yellow, or red fluorescent emission. We can take pictures of this fluorescence by looking through a yellow filter, which blocks out the blue light. There is a lot of confusion between the phenomena of fluorescence and bioluminescence. These two essences are distinct but related. Some people have even made up a term biofluorescence, which I feel just adds to the confusion. It's easiest to see the difference between fluorescence and bioluminescence when you turn out the lights. Bioluminescence is an animal's ability to produce light in complete darkness. In contrast, fluorescence only happens as long as there is an excitation light shining. Fluorescence is not visible in total darkness. Confusion is understandable because in some animals, Bioluminescent energy is used to excite fluorescence. Why do so many non-bioluminescent animals also have fluorescence? To test whether fluorescent coloration might serve to attract prey, we conducted experiments using the flower hat jellyfish, which has fluorescent tentacle tips. We placed young fish in a tank with the medusa, separated by a clear barrier so the jelly couldn't actually sting the fish. By unveiling the jellyfish under different lighting conditions, we could test the effect of fluorescence on the fish's behavior. Under white or yellow illumination, which didn't excite the tentacle tips, the whole medusa was visible and the fish showed little interest. However, when we switched on the blue lights, the tentacle tips became conspicuous and the fish would strike at the glass about seven times more frequently than under other conditions. To confirm that this phenomenon would apply in the natural world, we examined a variety of predators and found fluorescent structures suited for prey attraction in things like mantis shrimp, siphonophores, and sea anemones. We also tested the reaction of potential prey to an underwater laser pointer, which projected a bright green dot on the habitat. The laser triggered an exaggerated feeding response as the fish chased the elusive dot frantically across the sea floor, just like a house cat might pounce on a laser beam in your living room. Just because something is fluorescent doesn't always mean that the fluorescent serves any particular function. Turtle shells, algae, leaves, bird feathers, vitamin B, even your own fingernails are all fluorescent because of the chemicals they contain, but these colors are not currently known to serve any special purpose. In the ocean, fluorescence allows animals to transform blue light into a full palette, enabling a variety of colorful displays. Our experiments and field observations show for the first time that one important function of these bright colors is to attract prey to their ultimate demise. This is Steve Haddock of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. For more information about fluorescence and bioluminescence, visit the Bioluminescence webpage.